Hi everyone, big Merry Christmas from me. This is back at the Magic Mistletoe Tree in my local country park. Wanted to film from here today and share this with you. So I hope no matter who you're with, family, friends, or on your own by choice or otherwise at the moment, that you're finding light and hope at the moment. And I wanted to remind you all that you are important and you're special and you matter and your thoughts and feelings matter and you deserve to be happy and free and live the life that you want and I want to remind you that you're not alone whether you may or may not be feeling alone today um, I'm with you and the spirit and protection of this tree is with you whenever you want to call on it so if you like you could make a wish on this tree now or just tune into its powerful uplifting protective energy I also wanted to say think about the ups and downs in your life think about the good and bad times in your life at the down times in the past you didn't know the great people and great experiences that were probably just around the corner and it's the same now when it's difficult know and trust and have faith that there are amazing people who are going to come into your life and things that you're going to do and it's not far away now just bear with me while I take out my paper there is a passage I wanted to share with you so I was on astro.com during the week which is a really good astrology website and I found this passage which I found really helpful and I'd share it I do feel like, and I'm sure we all have, feel like we've changed over the past two years. I don't feel like a different person. I just feel like I've developed and grown up a lot. And it's just a reminder that growing up is a lifelong process and evolving as a person is a lifelong process. It doesn't just stop once you become an adult. So I do feel like though, with the unusual things we've been through, my perspective on the world, is much wider and more humanitarian now and I've got a much um, deeper desire to impact the world in a more positive way so I think that's the Aquarian lesson that I was speaking about a few days ago okay so here's the passage it says if you have been successful in the world you will continue to be but now it will have to mean something you will not be able to live for some external purpose the purpose must come from within if you don't reorient yourself, your life will become hollow and meaningless, regardless of what you accomplish from here on. So, powerful passage there. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention was the symbol of wolves. Wolves have come to me a lot this week. Wolves are in a book that I'm reading, and my mum sent me a Christmas video that had a wolf in it, and there was a story in the news this morning about wolves that had escaped today from a zoo in France. So I've looked up the symbolism of wolves and it says they represent loyalty, friendship and family. So consider who is in your pack, who do you share a deep bond with and you sometimes need to break away from the pack and then come back to it. Wolves accept the ones that drop out and then come back to them as much as the others who have always been there. There's also the idea of trust, the wolf in sheep's clothing. So think about who do you trust and remember to trust your instincts. So wolves are wise, alert and focused. They actually avoid conflict, even though they have this fierce reputation. They avoid fights, but they will stand their ground and stand in their power when they have to. <clears throat> so everyone, lots of love from me i hope you enjoy your christmas time thank you for listening and sharing your energy with me and i'll speak again soon bye everyone